Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. When Allie and I first came to Flamingo Gardens, we expected to see flamingos. But what we learned and experienced was so much more. Flamingo Gardens was started as Flamingo Groves in 1927 when Floyd and Jane Ray came to Florida and purchased 320 acres of land around and including Long Key in the Everglades. On January 2, 1927, Floyd Ray incorporated Flamingo Groves, beginning what was to become one of the first botanical gardens and tourist attractions in South Florida. It is said that there were nesting flamingos on the property when it was bought, and Mrs. Ray introduced peacocks to the gardens in the 40s to the delight of the visitors. In 1990, the Everglades Wildlife Sanctuary opened with the Bird of Prey Center. The sanctuary gave residents to permanently injured or non-releasable Florida native wildlife. Other wildlife displays opened, including river otter, bald and golden eagles, bobcats, tortoises, and the Florida panthers. Today, Flamingo Gardens boasts one of the last natural jungle growths in South Florida, with over 3,000 tropical and subtropical species of plants and trees, including the largest tree in Florida. It also boasts the largest single collection of state champion trees, which are the largest tree of their species, as determined by the Florida Forestry. As Mr. Ray wrote in 1939, you are welcome to Flamingo Gardens and are invited to spend as much time as you desire. My only request being that you help us preserve this beauty spot for others. Allie and I couldn't agree more. Okay, hey, so we're a tourist in South Florida yep. today. So we're what are we Davey. gonna do? We're gonna go check out the Flamingo Gardens. Why not? Okay, so how does this work? Well, we are here at Flamingo Gardens. So it's a self-guided tour. It's actually okay. a fairly... Oh, it's big. It's actually fairly big, so... And there's also a very dark cloud. I know. Dark cloud. And we're the not sun just came out. And, and we're not sure... It, blazes. And we don't know if we're going to get uh, rained on or not, so... Oh. They have a huge gift shop, too. Right off the bat, we have a macaw here. So, I think this is going to be a cool tour. We'll take you along and... You like it come check it out okay so there's a tram station what's the tram take well, you to? oh and there's a wildlife encounter at 1 30 wonder yeah. what that is that's an orchid gut orchid guide garden wow those are awesome we got ourselves a little toucan toucan charlie Right? So this is cool too. One thing we're learning about living in Florida is a lot of the house plants that we would have in Seattle are actually just indigenous. So these are ones that you can actually buy like in your grocery store or Safeway and they just grow here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so peacock. Hello, peacock. Oh. Checking the weather. Currently standing under a tree. Well, that's because, because there's. It's starting to drizzle. That's because there's a major storm right next to us. So I can't tell if it's bypassing us. The Everglades Wildlife Sanctuary opened in 1990 with the Bird of Prey Center. The sanctuary gives residents to permanently injured or non releasable Florida native wildlife. At the Bird of Prey Center, visitors will see a variety of owls, vultures, hawks, and falcons, as well as golden and bald eagles. These birds are either at risk or endangered and cannot be released because of injuries. Each year, about 100 chicks are born, which are raised and then released into the wild to help perpetuate their species. Pretty, I don't know if I can even... You are pretty.
our bird from Washington. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Oh, of course, I'm trying to wake him up. Sorry, buddy. Didn't know you were trying to take a nap. In addition to the Bird of Prey Center, the Wildlife Sanctuary includes an American crocodilian habitat, which features Elvis and Priscilla, which were seized from illegal pet trade. In fact, Sonny Crockett's pet alligator, Elvis, on the television show Miami Vice, was from Flamingo Gardens. In addition, the black bear habitat features Josh the Bear, a 600-pound black bear. Josh had spent his first 14 years in a 20 by 20 foot enclosure, far from ideal for an animal his size. Flamingo Gardens built Josh a new 8,000 square foot habitat with his home pool and bear cave and brought him here to live in 2013. The Wildlife Sanctuary also has one of the most successful otter breeding programs in the United States. Otters at Flamingo Gardens have produced more than 34 offspring since the program started in 1989. These otters have been released into the wild or sent to other breeding programs at sanctuaries across the U.S. A highlight of the sanctuary, the panther and bobcat habitats are home to permanently injured or otherwise non-releasable big cats, which could not otherwise survive in the wild. They were playing shy the day we were there and were well hidden up in the trees. And finally, the turtle walk features exhibits of American spur tortoises alligator snapping turtles, box turtles, as well as freshwater and softshell turtle displays. Throughout the grounds, you'll find champion trees, the largest examples of each tree, including what was once the largest tree in Florida, a 90-year-old cluster fig. Having been severely damaged by Hurricane Irma in 2017, in an effort to save this beautiful tree, Flamingo Gardens is now doing strategic remedial pruning to minimize further damage and encourage new growth. Okay, what's funny though is that we've been walking. We've seen some cool birds. We're now at the barbecue house the first day of the restrooms, but we haven't seen any flamingos yet. The Ray's original home has been preserved to show how people lived nearly 100 years ago. Featuring period correct furnishings, the rooms were rather spacious for a simple ranch style home of this period. I think that's a baby. I don't know. No, no, no. Are you a baby and a mama? Because the males are the ones with yeah. all the. Yeah. Now we're going to check out some flamingos in the flamingo pond. They've got like different kinds of flowers that are mm -hmm. coming off of them. So we're checking out the flamingo pond here and there seems to be a lot more non-flamingos than there are flamingos. There's a few flamingos in there but for the majority of them we have all of these all over the place. And the final unexpected feature of Flamingo Gardens was, was the number of brightly colored wildlife and plant figures displayed throughout the grounds, constructed entirely of Lego blocks. Hey, geez. Pretty impressive. They don't bite though. So they have all these Legos throughout the this one's the fox, right? This one's fox. And the fox says... Well, what'd you think? What I like is the fact that, you know, even though we're surrounded by urban area, there's still these little sanctuaries that Florida has <laughs> done that the people who moved down here 
you know, 100, 100 plus years ago, they had the foresight to build, to, something. To build something and to save stuff. So it, it, it's nice that it, it carries on, you know, 100 plus years later. Yeah, so they had botanical gardens, they've got a sanctuary for birds that have been injured, um, they've got a black bear. I'm assuming all the animals were injured, so mm -hmm. that's why they're there. So they've got a black bear, Florida bobcat, they've got some turtles, panther, panther, tortoises, alligators. Um, and like five flamingos. I was going to say there were not a lot of flamingos there was lots at of Flamingo Garden. There was <laughs> lots of uh, peacocks. Lots of peacocks. Lots of white birds. I'm glad we came. It was cool. Just Absolutely. another thing we need to check out. I know. Check that box. Yep. So next weekend, uh, we're also going to go down south and we're going to check out a few tourist things in Miami. So that's what we promised when we moved here. We would be tourists and that's we're bringing you along. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, ring the little notification bell, and also leave your comments. Let us know what you think. If yep. you don't want any more of these videos, then tell yeah, us. That's tell us, or if you know there's something we should see down here in South Florida, let us know that as well. And if you have a boating opportunity for us, that's most important. Most important. Yes. So, leave us a note there too. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.